What's going on guys? Welcome back to 66 Vlogs. My name is Akil and today we're going to be doing an oil change on a Mustang GT50. Uh, we did review this car last week if you don't remember but today um, I wanted to switch it up a little bit. I didn't want to do another review. Today we're going to do an oil change, show you guys how that's done. All right so you always want to do your research, know exactly how much oil your car needs, exactly what oil your car needs and what filter there needs. They are specific per cars and this car specifically, let me show you guys, it does require 520. It does need eight quarts so we got a five quart jug um six seven eight and then got the motorcraft filter oh yeah this thing has a stupid can i lift it need to speed richie where you at so, we'll say everyone lies uh, so we're gonna uh so we're all gonna tackle this whole change together it's usually not this many people aren't really required but we gotta hang out so might as well um first thing we're gonna start with is releasing the oil cap Okay. We'll leave that open. Oh, you got a cash can too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so the car just ran. So we're probably going to let it sit for like 10, 15 minutes to let it cool down a little bit. And then we'll go up, get underneath and start messing with the, the oil pan and releasing it. All right, so with these new cars, there's always a whole bunch of plastic covering everything. So first things first, we got to start with a seven millimeter ratchet and remove all these plastic coverings underneath. All right, we got the plastic off, and this is the filter. And then, where's the drain? Plug? Here's the oil drain pan. Let's just see. It's kind of. It's not too bad. All right, it's too really cool. <laughs> so first, we're gonna start off by releasing the oil drain plug, and then we'll release the oil filter. So let's. So we're having slight issues removing this. I had to get Richie in here to get it opened up. But it seems like Ford might have um uh, it's still really tight. Nice nah, Ford might have used a, a gun to tighten this. There's no way an oil stain plug should be this tight. Alright, so you gotta be a little quick with this because the oil is gonna spread out. So, let's see. Make sure you have gloves on always. So it's always important that before you do the oil change, you get the car up to operating temperature, just so the oil is nice and fluid. Um, if you do, if you wait and you like do it first thing in the morning, just so the engine is nice and cold, the oil might be a little sluggish. So you might not want to have, um, it, so it might not all come out. So like I said, so it, it might be better. It's always better to um, have the car running up to operating temperature and then just wait till it cools down enough that you could remove the oil drain plug without so let this grill come out. It look good. The majority of the oil is all out. We just put this cap back, this bolt back in because the oil filter is just so far to the front that we can remove both at the same time 
We only have one pan to throw the oil into. So obviously it helps a lot when you have the right tools. We have an oil filter wrench to get the oil filter off. It is in a weird spot, so hopefully not too much spills everywhere while trying to do this. This one will come out nice and easy compared to that bolt. But there is going to be oil in here too, so just be careful with that. so many threads on it. We got it. Okay, so this is the um, JLT uh, oil cash can, and it has, and what it, it's meant for is that oil that's being excess wasted, it doesn't go into the parts of the engine that it's not supposed to go into. So we're gonna remove this, it's kinda ready to move, and empty this out. Uh, what would you say, how often do you think this needs to be? Every oil change. Every oil change, it should be removed. And we'll see if it's actually beneficial or not, you'll see how much oil is in here. Wow, that's a good amount of oil in here, so it's definitely worth it. And this thing was what, like $100, right? Yeah. Yeah, $100 for a oil cash can, totally worth it. Everything looks good. So we're gonna throw this back on. Good on that end. Make sure it's nice and tight. And now we'll uh, just fill up the oil with the car with oil and we'll be good to go. All right, so uh, we just finished up the oil change. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start the car and uh, let it run for like a minute or so, turn it back off, and then check the oil levels. So, let's get a quick startup video of this thing. So we're gonna clean it up first and then put it back in. Okay, so we're gonna reset this oil light. Oh, like reset. Press and hold it. Done. And we have completed an oil change on the 2017 Mustang GT. Yeah.